Yes, Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. We stand in our praise. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds, O oh Lord. No, we stand in awe of your wonderful deeds. Renew them in our Renew them in our day. In your eyes. Remember mercy in our time, make them known, renew them in our days, renew them in our days, in your eyes, in time, renew them in our days. Praises go up and the blessings come down. Let me tell you, beloved, we've been doing a lot of reading the word. We've been doing a lot of preaching. We've been doing a lot of reaching. But we need to start bringing praises to our God. And this time, I come to harvest praise for the Lord. I come to just encourage Today we are on Psalm, Psalm 53, by the grace of God. And we are able to recite it in English and Swahili. We're going to start with the Swahili version and then we're going to read the English one as the Lord enables me to do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, yeah, so we bless the Lord for giving us the grace and the ability to be able to do this for the last couple of, um, of days. Actually, today is the day 53, actually, by His grace. It's not anything that I can say that it's by my power or by my might or anything that I have. I am Malcolm on Instagram. Uh, Malcolm D. Sila, if you are on YouTube, it is Malcolm in Christ. And I bless the Lord that he's given me the opportunity to just recite his word, just like Ezra did in the days of old. And um, I just want to thank God because in spite of the times that we are in, God is still on the throne and we give him praise. So Psalm, Psalm 53 is what uh, we want to um, listen in and bless the Lord. In our time, make them know, renew them. We're going to be revisiting some, uh, that song by Martin Ball. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. So here comes Psalm 53. Psalm 53. Zaburi, ye hamsimi na tatu. Mkumbafu amesima mwoyoni. Hakuna mungu. Wameteta uongwa ufisari na kuchugiza. Hakuna atena imema. Toka mikoni, mungu aliwa chukuli ya wanadamu. Awani kama yuko mtu mwenye akili, amtafuta ya mungu. Kila mtu amepotoka, wameuza uti pamoja, hakuna atina imema, la, hata mmoja. Ye, wafanya maufu hawajui, wala watu wangu kama wala fiukate, hawakumuita mungu. Haku wali ingiwa na hofu pasipo kuwa kuhofu, maana mungu, hame itawanya mifupa yake adi kuhusuru, umewatia aibu. Kwa sababu mungu hame wadharao. Na iti wukufu izuwe mtuki katika sayumi. Mungu awarudisha kwa fungwa watu wake. Yakubu atashangilia. Izraeli atafurahi. Zaburi ye hamsini na tatu. Mpumbafu amesima mwoyoni. Hakuna mungu. Wameteta uwoku wa ufisari na kuchukiza. Hakuna atena imema. Toka mikoni. Mungu aliwa chukulia wanadamu. Awani kama yuko mtu mwenye akili. Amtafuta ya mungu, kila mtu amepotoka, wameuza uti pamoja, hakuna atina imema, la, hata mmoja. Ye, wafanya maufu hawajui, wala watu wangu kama wala fiukate, hawakumuita mungu. Haku wali ingiwa na hofu pasipo kuwa kuhofu, maana mungu, hame itawanya mifupa yake adi kuhusuru, umewatia aibu, kwa sababu mungu hame wadharao. Na iti wukufu Israeli utoki katika sayumi. Mungu awarudisha kuwafungwa watu wake. Yakubu atashangilia. 
Israeli the last time Zaburi ya 53 Psalm 753 Mungu amesema moyoni hakuna Mungu wametenda uongo wa ufisadi na kuchukiza hakuna tena imema toka mbinguni Mungu aliwachukulia wanadamu au ni kama yuko mtu mwenye akili amtafutaye Mungu kila mtu amepotoka wameuza la according to the moja ye wafanya maovu hawajui wala watu wako kama wanavyokate hakuwajiingiwa na hofu pasipokuwa hofu maana Mungu ameitawanya mifupa yake aje kuhusuru umewatia aibu kwa sababu Mungu amewadharau na hichi hukufu Israeli utoke katika sayuni Mungu awarudisha kuwafungwa watu wake Yakobo atashangilia Israeli atafurahi Amen Psalm 53 in English version Psalm 53 for the director of music according to Mahalath a masculine of David the fool says in his heart there is no god they are corrupt and their ways are vile there's no one who does good God looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand and he who seek God. Everyone has turned away. They have oh, together they are corrupt. There is no one who does good, good. Not even one. one. Will the evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as men eat bread and who do not call on God? There they were, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come, come from Zion. Zion. When God, God restores his people. his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel, Israel be, be glad. glad. Psalm 53. Psalm 53. Mm. For the director of music. According, According to, to Mahalath, a masculine of David. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone has turned away. They have together become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Will the evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as men eat Verse bread, 5, Psalm 53. Mm. There they were, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing, nothing to dread. dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked mm. you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation of Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. glad. One last Psalm time. 53, for the director of music, according to Mahalath, a masculine of David, the fool says in his heart, there, there is no God. God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. Everyone has turned away. They have together become corrupt. Mm. There is no one who does good, even one. Will the evildoers never learn? Those who devour my people as men eat bread and who do not call on God. There they were. Overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to dread, God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Mm. Last time. Psalm 53. Of music. According to Mahalath, a masculine of David. The fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. There is no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on the sons of men to see if there are any who understand. Any in you see God. God. Everyone has turned away. They have together become, become corrupt. There corrupt. is mm. no one who does good. Yes. Not even one. Will the evildoers never mm. learn? Those who devour my people as men you were and to shame not call on God. Despise them. There they were, overwhelmed with dread, where there was nothing to do. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you. You put them to shame, for God despised them. 
Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When God restores the fortunes of his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Hallelujah, so hallelujah. For the director of music. We bless the Lord for this time. We give him glory. We give him adoration. Tonight and this morning, this afternoon, whatever time you're watching, we want to use the blood of Jesus as a weapon. And before we do that, let's go over Psalm 53 one more time. Psalm 53 is all with Psalm 14. If you turn to Psalm 14, you will actually see the same, same words that have been mentioned here. But Psalm 14 says, for the director of music of David. Here it says, for the director of music, a masculine director of music, according to Mahalath, as masculine of David. Psalm 14 says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt, their deeds are vile. There is no one who does good. Psalm 53 says, the fool says in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt and their ways are vile. There is no one who does good. Verse 2 of Psalm 14 says, the Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who will understand, any who seek God. Verse 2 of Psalm 53 says, God looks down on all mankind to see if there are any who understand any who seek God. Verse 3 of Psalm 14 says, All have turned away, have become all corrupt, and there is no one who does good, not even one. Verse 3 says, Everyone has turned away, all have become corrupt, there is no one who does good, not even one. Verse 4 says, Do all these Verse 4 here says, do all these evil doers know nothing? They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on God. Verse 4 says the same thing. They devour my people as though eating bread. They never call on God. Verse 5 says, but in verse Psalm 14, but they are overwhelmed with dread, for God is present in the company of the righteous. And this other one says, um, it says, um, Hallelujah. That, uh, do, uh, the, but they are overwhelmed with dread where there was nothing to dread. This is where the only difference comes in on verse 5. They are, they are overwhelmed with dread when there was nothing to dread. God scattered the bones of those who attacked you and you put them to shame for God you despised them. Over here in verse number, um, number 5, uh, verse number 5 it says, um, verse 6, it says, You evil doers frustrate the plans of the poor but the lord is their refuge all that salvation will come out of zion when the lord restores his people let israel let jacob rejoice and israel be glad the only difference within two these two chapters is that one reaches chapter six and one reaches chapter seven which brings me to bring to you a very very uh, powerful principle in prayer and this principle is the principle of repetition the principle of um, coming back to the Lord there's a story about the poor old widow that is uh, mentioned in scripture the widow that was um, was was going all the way the widow that was going all the time to the to the judge you know, the widow that was going all the time to the judge and saying, Oh, grant me justice, grant me justice, grant me justice. The poor old widow. She used to come and say, the persistent widow in the book of Luke chapter 18. It says that the, the, then Jesus told his disciples, that Jesus told his disciples a parable to show them that they always, <clears throat> excuse me, that they always should pray, always, that they, that they should always pray and not give up. He said, in a certain town, there was a widow who neither feared God nor cared about men. But there was a widow in that town who kept coming with the plea, Grant me justice against my adversary. For some time he refused, but finally he said to himself, Even though I do not fear God or care about men, yet because of this widow keeps bothering me, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually wear me out with her coming. And the Lord said, Listen to what the unjust judge says and will not god bring about justice for these chosen ones who cry out to him day and night will he keep cutting them off i tell you I, he will see that they get justice and quickly however when the son of man comes will he find faith on the earth praise the name of the lord that question is a very very powerful question we need to answer when the son of man comes on the earth Will he find faith 
Will he find faith on the face of the earth? Will he find us faithful? I read in Psalm 53 and Psalm 14 and see that there is an emphasis. There is an emphasis that there is something that is being mentioned here that comes expressly. And this is book one of the Psalms. And in book two of the Psalms, we have the same kind of a Psalm. Now talking about the wicked and what they talk about, it says the fool says in his heart, there is no God. If I told you you've ever heard someone say there is no God, then you already know even if they have the best education, even if they are the best in everything they have studied, they will be fools because that's what they call, the scripture calls them. Jinga usema moyoni mwaki, hakuna mungu. That is what the word of the Lord says. And also... Also, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, let me show you something. Those who are given to drink and to alcohol and drunkenness. It says something in Psalm 20, 20, verse 1. Praise the name of the Lord. We are about to get into the time of prayer, the time that we love so much. And before we do that, I want just to bring uh, across some edification so that we can be able to be edified as the Lord enables us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the book of Proverbs 20, it says, The wine is a mocker and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. So Proverbs 20 verse 1 talks to somebody that has been led astray by alcohol, by drink, by wine, by beer. When you are led astray by beer, when you are led astray by wine, you are not wise. And if you are not wise, it makes you in the same category as somebody who says in his heart, there is no God. So I want to charge you, beloved, if at all you are given to strong drink and then you call yourself a believer, then you need to understand the Bible calls you not wise. You might be saying, I just take one or two beers. There's nothing wrong with taking beer. There is everything wrong with drunkenness. Drunkenness and alcoholism and all these things are works of the flesh. These are things you find in the book of Galatians chapter 5. And this time is not a time for you to stock alcohol in your house. This is a time to stock the Holy Spirit in your house. As it says in the book of Ephesians, do not be drunk by, do not be drunk by wine, but be filled with the Holy Ghost in the book of Ephesians chapter 5. It's something that you need to understand that God has called you to and called us into a place where we can we are supposed to call on his name and bless his name and honor his name. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We give glory to the Lord and hallelujah. We bless the Lord for his giving us a new day. He's given us a bright new day. We give him glory. We give him honor. We honor him for he's a great God. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. We want to ask him to renew them in our days. Before we go there, I want us to mention about the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Using the blood as a weapon. We are living in times when we need to understand how to wage our warfare. Our warfare is not carnal. Our warfare is not physical. Our warfare is not dependent on what we can do. Our warfare is spiritual. And you need to understand that a spiritual problem cannot be solved with a physical uh, remedy. If at all your case has a spiritual origin, if at all you go to the psychiatrist, if at all you go to the counselor, if, until, if at all you go to the best doctors of the earth, they will not be able to solve that problem because a problem that is physical can only be solved physically. But a problem that is spiritual can only be solved spiritually. And it's important to understand that God has called us as spiritual beings. You could be there thinking Harvard is what made you. You could be there thinking Kenyatta University is what made you. You could be there thinking it's your great intelligence that is making you where you are today. But I come to charge you, child of God, that you need to understand the place where God has positioned you. It's not because it's by uh, your education or what you have known or what you've learned or, or your experience or, you know, your career or your talent. You need to understand that God from in the book of Acts 17, 26, from one man, God made every nation of men and he determined the set times and the exact places where every man should live. He did this so that men all over the world could worship him. And I bless the Lord because of this wonderful time we are gathered here together to be able to lift up his name, to be able to honor him, to be able to call on his presence and particularly to remind ourselves about the blood of Jesus, which is a weapon. The blood of Jesus is not just mention. It's not just a mention. 
The blood of Jesus exists in the spiritual realm as a weapon. And for the believer who understands that the power, the weapon of our warfare is not carnal, it's good for you to know that when you have the provision of the blood of Jesus, that no weapon fashioned against you shall prosper. The Lord will cause his angels charge over you. The Lord will cause his presence to shine upon your life. The Lord will cause his favor to be upon your life. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to overcome every satanic onslaught. By the blood of Jesus. Let me tell you, this is not about being superstitious. Like I tell you, the reason why I am here is to be able to enable us to catch prayer. Catch prayer. Prayer is not taught. Prayer is caught. You know, the world was so busy. Just before this uh, almost six weeks lockdown in some parts of the U.S. Right now, uh, probably uh, some people are sleeping or some people are about to get to bed in the in the US I celebrate you my brother Michael there in uh, Indiana the Lord bless you the Lord favor you the Lord continue to shine his light upon you even as you serve his people as a health worker the Lord protects you we continue to speak and pray over the life of Don Boogie who's uh, recovering from the covid covid-19 the Lord is snatched her from death and she will not die she will live to proclaim the wondrous works of the Lord. Tonight, we have this morning and this afternoon, this night, whatever time, these videos are timeless. We want to pray that the blood of Jesus will come. Hallelujah. The word of God says in Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and the word of their testimony. They loved not their lives unto death. The blood of Jesus can never lose its power. It can never use its power. It's divine blood. Jesus is the only begotten of the Father. 1 John, uh, John chapter 1 verse 14. The blood that was shed is not that blood that was just shed in vain. Let me tell you. The word again says that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of righteous Abel. When Abel was slain by his brother Cain, his blood cried from the ground and it asked and seek justice from the Lord. And the Lord came and he asked Cain, where is your brother? And that's where we get, um, that's where we get uh, the famous, the famous uh, phrase, am I my brother's keeper? That's what Cain asked. And he became a vagabond after that. The blood of Jesus avails everything imaginable. For if we are going to experience the blood of Jesus, we have personally to apply it into our lives and into our situations. How do we apply the blood of Jesus? Do we get physical blood and apply on ourselves? Do we take, do we slaughter something and then we take the blood and pour it somewhere? No, by no means. The only and how we are able to apply the blood of Jesus is by decrees. Is by decrees. Let me tell you, decrees, you notice now how powerful decrees are when the presidents of the earth show up on their, uh, on their pulpit, and they say, we, the people of South Africa, are going to no longer go out into the market square. We are no longer going to go out into the supermarket. We are no longer going to go to this place, that place. Because of that decree, immediately, like uh, our president here in Kenya, he made a decree at 3 p.m. and said, today, by 7 p.m., Nairobi is shut down. It was a Monday. Let me tell you, there was great crisis. There are people who had switched off their phones. There are people who are not reading the news. And they were in their farm. Eh? They had not even carried their clothes to go and change. They had just driven to the farm in the morning. And, um, you know, they had just gone to the farm in the morning. And they said, ah, you know, this quarantine business. Let me just run, drive to the farm and, you know, come back to Nairobi much later on. But later on, you know what? That decree of the president shut them out of their home. He said to them, you cannot come. You cannot pass here. This gate is closed. The gate is closed. The roadblock, a small piece of metal stopped the borders of Nairobi from being accessed from every corner. Stopped Mombasa from being accessed from any corner. Stopped Kilifi from being accessed from every corner. Stopped Kuala from being accessed from every corner. These are the places that were shut down as hotspots. And you notice that the decree is a powerful thing. And as you begin to decree and understand, 
I want you to know that God is going to come through in your situation. He's going to come through by faith. Hallelujah. We apply the blood of Jesus by decrees. We confess it. The blood of Jesus speaks better things than the blood of righteous Abel. This is the Hebrews 12, 24. If you are writing down your scriptures. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God this video is going to be available on YouTube. So I, I'm not going to go at your pace. I'll just have to go fast. And then you can be able to rewind and stop and just listen to it when you're on the YouTube. We bless the Lord for that in the mighty name of Jesus. So we want to thank God because of this. The Bible says the life of the flesh is in the blood. This is in Leviticus 17 verse 11. The life of the flesh is in the blood. So people who drink blood, actually it is not recommended. Even medically, it's not good to drink blood. You know, I know there's a community here that drinks blood and... Um, I don't think it's a very good thing because um, the Bible forbids the drinking of blood. Actually, it's something that is in the scripture. The life is in the blood. Do not drink blood. For those of you who make even food with blood, mm -mm, it's not good. It's not healthy. I talk to doctors here. They'll tell you blood is not good for us to take. So if you are a believer, do not be in the business of taking blood physically by drinking it. The blood of Jesus contains the life of Jesus. It contains divine life. The power of overcoming is in this blood. So the prayer points that we want to make are prayer points that are helping us to decree, to make that confession, to make that declaration, to speak those words, and to indeed enable us to establish that blood in our situations. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Here we are with Mr. Martin Ball one more time. Hallelujah. Let's just worship God. Do you know something? Even before we get into the time of declaration and prayer. Worship is very important. I want to give you a challenge. I want you to uh, record yourself singing a praise to God. Just record yourself and let's populate the social media with a song to the Lord. Without instruments, without... Because Facebook is out here as an algorithm. If I told you you are playing copyrighted music, they are going to definitely just mute it. If Unless you are the musician, if you play anybody's music on your page, like this one which I'm playing now, I, you know, I just want to do it for, for, entertain, for worship purposes and not for any other purpose. So... Um, it's good for you to know, for those of you who have not yet used your live feature here on Facebook, if you use your live feature and you play copyrighted music, then it's definitely going to go mute on that. And uh, we bless the Lord because they would like to encourage us to use original content. So it's important that if you can, if you are a psalmist, you can be able to play your guitar, take out your guitar from the closet and begin to sing as you proclaim, as you proclaim the blood of Jesus, the appropriation of the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Come on, let's say. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Sing it. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes why Adamu. Yeah, yeah, damu, yeah, hallelujah, damu, yeah, Usafi Shakabi, oh, the blood of Jesus. We say, oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. Sing it to the Lord and say, Damu. Ya Yesu imba sema damu Ya Yesu twa sema damu Ya Yesu usafi shakabi oh the blood of Jesus we are singing oh the blood of Jesus 
Jesus, we are saying, oh, the blood of Jesus, it washes white as snow. And overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They love their lives not to death. In the name of Jesus Christ, I am a beloved child of God. I believe in God. I believe in Jesus Christ. I believe in the blessed Holy Spirit who is dwelling inside of me. I believe in the unshakable eternal power in the word of God. I believe that the life and death are in my tongue. Hallelujah. I believe that I make this confession unto life. Uh, I make this confession unto life and the power in my tongue according to the word of God in which the Lord has said put it in my power. I shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. It is written. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This confession, hallelujah, and you can be able to rewind it later on and just take it, uh, speak it in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. It is written, hallelujah, glory be to God. It is written that Jesus Christ offered his blood as a drink and his flesh as bread that whosoever drinks die in the mighty name of Jesus. Now the strong faith in my heart, I are I receive unto myself the virtues, uh, strength, uh, power, might, and anointing in the blood. I say, let the blood quicken all that is in the, all that is dead within me. Let all sapped and sapped and paralyzed uh, uh, strength in my life be resurrected by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood re-energize. Uh, let the blood revitalize. Uh, let the blood reactivate. Uh, let the blood revive all the dead and spiritual gifts within me. Let the blood flush out of me all the inherited of self-acquired evil deposits in my system. Let it purify in my, my blood system. Let take it all things pass away in my life and transform everything to become new. Let the power in the blood cleanse my spiritual vision. Yes, and wash my spiritual, my spiritual eyes that I will be receiving from the Lord unhindered in the mighty name of Jesus. I eat with the heart of faith, uh, the flesh of Jesus, for it is written, his flesh, is, uh, his flesh is the bread indeed. I eat it now, so that it can also eat with him in glory, in his glory. Hallelujah. I eat the flesh of Jesus to receive new spiritual strength and vigor, strength and vigor to put under subjection all works of the flesh, strength and vigor to paralyze the desires of my flesh, strength and vigor to paralyze every power of my flesh and make it obedient to the laws of God. As I eat and drink of the flesh of the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ, I renew my covenant with him. I receive the life therein, for it is written, life is in the blood. Therefore, I possess the life and the spirit of Christ in me. Amen. Je Jeremiah found the word of God and did eat it, and it became the joy for his heart. I have found the word of God, and now is like vitamin pills. I throw it in my mouth and chew it and digest it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, let it produce within me the power to rejoice in the Holy Ghost, uh, the power to be steadfast in following God, the power to walk uh, circumspectively, the power of the holy living, the power of unashamedly, unashamedly faithfulness in all circumstances. The word of God is spirit and it is life. It entered Ezekiel and he was put back on his feet. Let the word of God raise up every downtrodden area in my life. Let the word like fire, let the word like fire let the word like fire purify me in every downtrodden area of my life. Let the word like fire purify me, restore any parts stolen or destroyed by the enemy. Let the word build me up and give me inheritance among all sanctified brethren. Hallelujah. Let the joy of the Lord strengthen me. Let his right hand of righteousness uphold me. Let his countenance brighten up my life. Let the horn of his salvation Lift me up out of the valley of life and let his living anointing oil fan me on like the dew of Hammon and fill my life. Lord, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, make me drunken with the blood of Jesus. I shall not, I shall be full of life of eternity. Father, Lord, as it is written, and I shall be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I ask that you, might, you may be my 
might and my strength all the days of my life. Lord, guard me with your strength. Let me not fail into, let me not fall into the pit of my enemies. I will praise you all the days of my life with my heart, with my heart, with my heart. I believe the word of God. Hallelujah. Say that one. Ah, with my heart, with my heart, with my heart. I believe the word of God. Hallelujah. With my mouth, I have confessed unto salvation and justification. Oh Lord, let it be performed unto me as I have prayed in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're in agreement with that confession, write in the comments. Amen. As we continue in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to just uh, sing this song one more time by uh, Martin, Martin Ball. It's just a wonderful song. I want to ask for renewal. Even as we continue to worship our God, as we continue to bless Him. Hallelujah. We give him glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Want to be participants in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Father. Lord, we heard of your fame. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds, O oh Lord. Lord, we heard of your fame. We're standing out of your wonderful deeds. Renew them in our days. Renew them in our days. Hallelujah. We shall let start it again. Sorry about that. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Mm. Neither do we want to be spectators. Yes. We want to be participators in a demonstration of his power. Yes. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Renew them in our time. Make them known. Yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Hallelujah. Glory be to your name. Lord, be part of your faith. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds, O oh Lord. Lord, we part of your fame. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds. Renew them in our day. Renew them in our day. In your eyes. Remember mercy in our time. Make them known. Renew them in our day. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah. Renew them in our day. In your life is done. Renew them in our day. Glory be to the Lord. Lord, we part of your fame. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds, O oh Lord. Lord, we part of your fame. We stand in awe of your wonderful deeds. Renew them in our day. Renew in our day in your eyes it's time by mercy in your eyes in our time make them known renew them in our day
in our day. Hey, in the right we stand and renew them in our hey glory. Jesus, Hallelujah. New Rimosika tele tele tele. Ora baze tele musica. Hey, renew them in our day. Come on, we're gonna worship the Lord. Worship the Lord in the sanctuary. Worship the Lord wherever you are. We worship you, Jesus. Have us praise from our hearts this morning, this night, this afternoon, this evening, Lord. Whatever time, oh God, we give you praise. Oh, Lord. I 
Shout to you, the people will cry out to you, the people will indeed invite your presence into their homes by worshiping you, my father. I make this intercession that God, you may cause praise to rise from households, you may cause praise to rise from homes. Even as the churches are not accessible, we are accessible. We are able to access you. We are able to access you. We are able to access you, Lord. We have a direct access. We have a direct access to you. We have a direct access to you, my Father. And we worship you. We worship you. We worship you, Jesus. I can name my name. You alone, I will proclaim the glory of the risen God who was for slain to reconcile man to God. Forever you will be. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. A lamb upon the throne. Lord, I worship you, Jesus. I got me by my knee. And worship you alone. I will proclaim. Glory of the risen Lord, who was to reconcile man to God forever, you will be the Lamb upon the throne. I bow my knee and worship you alone. Worship you 
alone Forever you will be The lamb upon the throne I believe on my And worship you alone. Hallelujah! We give glory, 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 and honor and power and majesty to our God. For he reigns forever. He reigns forever. He is a mighty God. Let me tell you, beloved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you, worship is something we must continue to do. Now and even when we go to heaven, worship is something we have to continue doing. I want you to thank the Lord for the benefits of the blood of Jesus. Thank God for the provision of the blood of Jesus. I want you to take time and pray. Take time and pray and say, Father, I thank you for the provision of the blood of Jesus. I thank you for the provision of the blood of Jesus. I thank you, Father, for the provision of your blood. Father, I stand. Lord, I thank you for the provision of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to stand on the ground on the, of the blood of and proclaim victory over Satan and his agents and the world in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus gives us victory over Satan, his agents, and even the world. That your flesh will die. Your flesh will not be, you know, like when someone sends you a dirty clip, you'll just delete it. There's nothing to watch there. When you, you know, when you are walking in victory, there are things you don't struggle with. There are things that, you know, they're outright. You can say, ah, this is the enemy. What, is this? what am I doing with the enemy? Just delete it. Just get rid of it. You don't need it in your life, you know. You understand that the heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the sun, the moon, the stars. Their job in the book of Psalms 136. Defined, he says, the sun to govern the day, the moon to govern the night. Eh? He says in the book of Psalm 136, uh, he says, uh, 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 the sun to govern the day, his love endures forever, the moon and the stars to govern the night, his love endures forever. This is Psalm 136. I can't wait for us to get to the 136th Psalm in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand on the ground of the victory of the blood of Jesus. To proclaim victory over Satan and the world in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand on the I stand, I stand on the ground of the blood of Jesus to proclaim. Come on, make that prayer point. I stand, I stand, I stand. Yes, make that proclamation. I stand on the blood. I stand on the victory of the blood and claim, proclaim victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Very soon. Very soon, mankind, God will allow it, by the way. If the Lord wills, and I believe it's in his will that many should not perish without the Lord Jesus in their life, and he proclaims the end of coronavirus, I pray that when that end comes, the time that the end will come, that indeed it will be that you'll find you a better believer than before. That even though you have been tested and sifted, like it says in the book of Job 23.10, that have been tested and come out as gold. That during this time, the Lord is going to make you a prayer warrior. That you're not going to be an ordinary person. You're not going to be an ordinary believer. You're going to show up in a place, survey it, and say, let's get to work. And you just lift up your hands and talk to the Lord and say, Father, Dispatch your angels in this matter because you know what? You have understanding that you have the capacity to command angels and angels are below you when you are born again and walking in victory. Hallelujah. I apply the blood of Jesus. I want you to apply the blood of Jesus over every stubborn problem in your life. You might know it by name. Speak it there. That's why we are in a wonderful prayer meeting that you, can, you do not have to say I have an unspoken need. You know, when that happens in a fellowship, you just know that these people don't trust each other. But that's still okay. You don't have to tell people your problems. I want you to pray and say, I apply the blood of Jesus over every stubborn problem in my life. And then I want you to, I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body.
soles of my feet. We are applying the blood of Jesus. We are using the blood of Jesus as a weapon in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. Amen. I want you to take another one and say, I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield against any power that is already ready to resist me in the name of Jesus. The blood, like when, when the witches and the wizards, they are, you know, they, they are, there's a mirror they like to summon people upon. <laughs> if you try to summon a child of God who is covered by the blood into that mirror, it breaks. That they cannot be able to see you. You are not in their radar. You cannot be evident in the witchcraft radar. They try whichever angle. Let me tell you, beloved of the Lord, you need to guard your heart very carefully. Because the enemy is wandering around like a lion, looking for who to devour. There are certain things that when we happen to introduce them into our lives, then the enemy has a loophole to come and poke our prayers and begin to harass us. So it's important for us to understand the place we have in God we have in the spirit so that when we are praying we will not get resistance from the powers of darkness that the blood of jesus in a power to, and it's like having a siren on top of your car it's like having outriders you know i happened once to be uh covering a few dignitaries uh in my work as a professional photographer and i saw the wonderful things that they enjoy police escort you know Cars just, there's a, they actually cars driving information when they get into a jam. This car goes here, this car goes here, this car goes behind here. And you have to clear the way for the, for the officials. Praise the name of the Lord. The officials have to go. Eh? And I thank God because when we use the blood of Jesus, the provision in that blood, if at all your eyes were opened, you cannot just be there staying and saying, you know, me, I prefer to pray quietly. I prefer to just say my prayers quietly. Let me tell you, prayers prayed quietly is okay. There's no problem. But prayers that are according to the word of God are prayers that enable us as Christians to pray the will of God. That we are able to pray the will of God. And if we are reading the word of God and praying the word of God. Listen, Psalm, uh, Proverbs, Psalm 53 says, The fool says in his heart there is no God. So we know that we, do not, we are not dealing with wise people. The people that say there's no God are not wise. That's the scripture calling them that. I will not go and write on their Twitter wall, you are a fool. No, that's not wisdom. But the scripture already, a word is enough for the wise. A word is enough for the wise. If at all you are here and you have been claiming you are, there is no God, then you have an understanding that you are a fool. So you now need to do what? You need to give your life to, to Jesus. How do you do that? And now the churches are closed. It is not about a visitation or going to a church physically. It is not about uh, going to a particular church. You say, no, me, I was born again Catholic. Me, I was born again SDA. Me, I was born away PAG. Me, I was born again, I was born again AIC. Eh -eh. Being born again is not a matter of denomination. Being born again says this, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you shall be born again. That's what the word of the Lord says. You will be born again. You will be born again. If you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be born again. Then these things we are doing here will apply for you. But if I again this looks like just facebook entertainment for you then you will not get it this is not about the physical this is about the spiritual and that's why we mention that one thing that we need to do the, that one thing that you know you, you just have to keep checking on this world because we do not announce our facebook live what time it comes as the lord enables us to do it we shall do it by his grace hallelujah so i bless the lord for his opportunity for us to pray and for us to call on the name of the lord so those prayer points i've given you let us go before the lord in the mighty name of jesus father i thank you for the benefits of the provision i thank you lord for the provision of the blood of jesus i stand to proclaim victory over sin and Satan. Lord God, I apply the blood of Jesus over every stubborn 
in the name of Jesus. This day I plead the blood of Jesus over my family, my children. I plead the blood of Jesus over my business. I plead the blood of Jesus, Lord God, over my friends. I plead the blood of Jesus over this YouTube channel. I plead the blood of Jesus over this Facebook page. I plead the blood of Jesus, my Father, over everywhere this my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord. I plead the blood of Jesus upon my body, my head, from the head of, from the top of my head to the soles of my feet, in the mighty name of Jesus. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my life in the blood of Jesus. I soak my life. My life is hidden in the blood. I proclaim the faithfulness of God. I proclaim the blood of Jesus. I proclaim the blood of Jesus. I paralyze all satanic against my life uh, with the blood of Jesus. Yes, my Father, I hold the blood of Jesus as a shield uh, against any power that is already to, re to resist me in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I stand against every device of destruction in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I stand against every device of destruction in the mighty name of Jesus. I stand upon the word of God uh, and declare myself unmovable. I shall not be shaken. I Hallelujah. According to your word, in times of disaster, I will not wither. In times of famine, I will have plenty. Yes, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over my situation. I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. I plead the blood of Jesus over this time. Yes, Lord, as we arise and ascend in the spiritual realm, Father God, we thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Through the blood of Jesus, I have redeemed, I have been redeemed out of the hands of the enemy. I want you to declare this word. Through the blood of Jesus, I have been declared, I have been redeemed out of the hands of the devil. Hallelujah! Through the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, through the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed out of the hands of the devil. Through the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed out of the hands of the devil. Through the blood of Jesus, through the blood, through the blood of Jesus, I have been redeemed from every work of the enemy. I have been set free. I have escaped in the mighty name of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus, sickness and disease has no portion in my life. Through the blood of Jesus, no weapon fashioned against me shall prosper. Through the blood of Jesus, yes, Father God, I have provision. I have been cleansed from all sin. 1 John, 1 John 7 says, 1 John 1 7 says, if we walk Jesus cleanses us. We are with God and the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. I have the life of God in me. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. Through the blood of Jesus, I have the life of God in me. The word of the Lord says in Leviticus uh, that the life is in the blood. And right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. I proclaim the life of Jesus in my life, oh God. I have the life of God in me. I have the life of God in my family. I have the life of God in this day. In the mighty name of Jesus, I proclaim my Jesus, I proclaim, I proclaim the blood of Jesus. Every accusation of the enemy, I plead the blood of Jesus against every accusation, any accusation of sexual immorality, every accusation of debauchery, every accusation of drunkenness, every accusation of the flesh. I come against you now in the name of Jesus. I have been redeemed from the curse of the Lord, and it is written that cast is you hung on a tree that the blood the blood the blood of Jesus cleanses me from all sin yes my father I walk in righteousness because of this blood yes my God today I insulate myself against every manner of wickedness through the blood of Jesus I am justified sanctified and made holy with God's holiness hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Through the blood of Jesus, I am sanctified. I am justified and made holy with God's holiness. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. I paralyze and cut off the head of Goliath with the blood of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Every Goliath situation in my life. Every Goliath situation in my brother's life. Every Goliath situation in your life. Right now, by the blood of Jesus. Paralyze and cut off the head. Paralyze and cut off the head. Paralyze and cut off the head. Paralyze, 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 paralyze and cut off the head. 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 In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every situation and cut off his head. I do not want it. Depart in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let me mention this. Let me just explain this prayer point. You know, envy, jealousy, anger, destruction, bitterness, fear, all those things are not of the Lord. So as you pray this prayer, cast out all fear. Fear is not your portion. The word of the Lord says, the perfect love casts out fear. So we want to believe God and bring, let me tell you, the things that we are doing here are not physical, they are not for you, uh, the intellect. If you come here with your, with your scholar, scholar mind, just leave your scholar mind away. This is in the spirit, we are in the spirit, we are in the spirit. You are seeing a physical, spiritual experience by the presence of God. We continue to talk to the Lord and we want to cast out everything that is not of God, that is in your life. If there is unforgiveness, if there is bitterness, if there is anger, if there is jealousy, if there is sexual immorality, if there is drunkenness, if there is um, debauchery, if there is selfish ambition, if there is, um, which other one? If there is a corruption of any kind, be it physical or even spiritual corruption, any manner of witchcraft in your life, as you pray this prayer, to depart out of your life. They will depart. Those demons of jealousy, those demons of pride, they got to leave you. They will leave you. They will leave you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on. Let's pray again and say, Oh Father, I cast, I, I, I let, let the blood of Jesus, if there is anything in me that is not of God, if there is anything in me that is not of God, if there is anything in me that is not of God, I do not want it. Depart in my life. Depart in my life right now in the name of Jesus. Debt, I tell you in the name of Jesus. Depart. Scarcity, I command you now. Depart in the name of Jesus. You have no portion in my life. Jesus, I take authority. I claim my position. As says in the book of Ephesians 1, 3, that I've been blessed with every blessing in the spiritual realms. I receive those blessings. Those blessings are flowing. Those blessings are Nothing is stopping them. Phone call after phone call. Yes, email after email. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes, indeed. 
after money, Lord. Gold after gold, silver after silver. Yes, my God, land after land. Father God, every kind of blessing that you have purposed for my life in 2020, it shall not be diverted in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. We appropriate it this morning. We appropriate it this day in the name of God. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to now make intercessory prayer. Remember, we're making devotional prayer. Now we make intercessory prayer. Intercessory prayer is where we are praying for things like nations. I want us to pray. Um, there's a brother of mine, in um, a, a brother in the Lord. He, he's in Pakistan and uh, he's doing his ministry right now. They've been hit hard by this kind of thing. Many people are not connected on the internet and all that. But we want to believe God that God is going to raise households in all these pockets even in yemen they are believers even in china i read something my sister julia sent me about uh zoom this thing you call zoom 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 application they were being monitored as they worship god together and the enemy comes let me tell you something communism in china is a devil it's a devilish system it is it is not a system from god that's why even the symbol of China is a dragon, a red one. Hey, let me tell you, God is going to cause that same, same China to spring forth with revival. Their guns cannot stop prayer. Hallelujah. They cannot stop prayer. They can put them in prison like they put Watchman Nee. But the Watchman Nee wrote more publications about prayer and about the spiritual man than anyone listed on the nations. Because they captured Watchman Nee and put him in prison because of his faith. Who is like the Lord? Who is like the Lord? China shall hear the word of the Lord. China shall worship God. China, the blood of Jesus, shall come upon you. There's another nation, Switzerland, that has a flag which has a cross in the middle. That cross symbolizes the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. But funny enough, we have a lot of atheists and people that do not believe in God living in Switzerland right now. Again, in Geneva, we have a place called the Place of Nations. I bless the Lord by his mercy. He allowed me to step on that square with my feet. And I know and I believe God that even as, you know, that was an indication of this, the, the work of the nations that God is going to do. Even as we are doing this in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we continue to pray. Hallelujah. So beloved of the Lord, I want us to make intercessory prayer for the nations. Whichever country you represent. I see you, my sister from South Korea here. My sister Celeste, the Lord bless you. Surround you with songs of deliverance. Cover you from coronavirus with the blood of Jesus. Cover you. Cause you to pour out a spirit of prayer in that your room. Call in the people in your house and sing to the Lord. I make a command. I make an altar call today for us to sing in our houses. Sing, sing, sing. Sing in your house. Sing the glory of God. Exalt the Lord in your home for one hour, two hours. Just sing, sing, sing. Praise. They can never stop your praise. Yes, our intention is to blow, send blows to the kingdom of darkness. We thank God this broadcast is covered by the blood of Jesus. It's covered by the blood of Jesus. If they try to watch this one, they're just seeing a red dot. If they try to watch this one, they just see things they cannot understand. Because the blood of Jesus is powerful. The blood of Jesus is powerful. I, the blood of Jesus is powerful. And this profile of mine, I thank God. Because as we began this profile, even I had a time when witches and wizards in the UK were following this channel. We are following Malcolm David Zilla. And I thank God because there's one of them that remained as my friend. And I continue to speak into her life. Continue to speak into her life. Her name is Anna Tom Linson. Later on, she, she unfriended me from Facebook. But I know for a fact that the time that she was interacting with the content on this page, there's something that happened. So we bless the Lord for his protection. For the last 11 years, we've been doing this on this page. But sometimes the enemy comes in like a flood, but the Lord raises a standard. The Lord always raises a standard. There's a, there's a wonderful uh, 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 word that uh, the Lord gave me the other day uh, from Joshua chapter 3. And I recorded it. It's on the YouTube channel. You should be able to see it today by around uh, 
3 p.m. Kenyan time. It should be up. That message is for you, that for you can be able to listen into it and just connect with that message and understand what God is calling us to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I want us now to uh, to come close to almost concluding. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord has enabled us to be in His presence. The Lord has continued to enable us to continue. From here we want to go fire prayer because I believe that the Lord is giving us grace. The Lord is giving us ability for us to uh, seek His face in the mighty name of Jesus. That we can continue to seek His face in the mighty name of Jesus. Forever He will be the Lamb on the throne and we bless His name and glorify His name in the mighty name of Jesus. He's a mighty God. We bless His name. We bless His name. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless His name. We bless His name. He's worthy to be praised. You are worthy, Lord, to be praised. Receive all the praise. Receive all the worship. Receive all the adoration. Let it be recorded on a day called today, on the 23rd of April, that God receive all the worship, receive all the praise, receive all the adoration, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. We bless the Lord. We give you praise, O Father, for you are a great God. We worship you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We give you praise. We give you honor. There is none like you. You are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory to his lamb. We give glory to the son of God. We give glory for he reigns forevermore. We worship him. We give him all the adoration. Hallelujah. Father, have his praise out of our lips. Have his praise out of our hearts. Have his praise out of our homes. Have his praise out of the work of our hands. For Father, now we begin to understand that your needs are that men should not perish. Your needs are that men should be uh, crossing over from death to life. We thank God. That you've already provided for all our needs. Hey, glory to God. For your word says that seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Let the blood of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus stand between me and every dark power delegated against my life. Let the blood of Jesus Father, rebel against any power. Let the blood of Jesus stand against any power that is delegated against you in the name of Jesus. Father, we come and continue in your presence and cut off, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus stand between me and any dark power delegated against me in the name of Jesus. I cast every work of darkness in my life and to and dry it to the roots by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Father, we saturate this day with the blood of Jesus. We saturate everything today with the blood of Jesus. Everything that we are doing today with the blood of Jesus. Yes, Father God, we speak the blood of Jesus. I defeat and paralyze and erase spirit of demotion by the blood of Jesus. I defeat, paralyze and erase failure at the edge of miracle with the blood of Jesus. I defeat, I defeat, I defeat, paralyze and erase failure at the edge of miracle in the name of Jesus. I defeat, paralyze and erase financial downgrading by the blood of Jesus. I defeat, I paralyze, I erase, hey, inherited problems from my father's house, inherited problem from my mother's house, back to the seven generations, all the way to Adam. Father God, we erase them by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. I defeat and paralyze and erase dream attackers by the blood of Jesus. Any attack in the dream, Father God, I paralyze it by the blood of Jesus. I paralyze it by the blood of Jesus. This day, this night, this afternoon, I cut off, I defeat, I paralyze, I erase vision killers, marital problems by the blood of Jesus. Vision killers, marital problems, I paralyze you by the blood of Jesus. I erase you by the blood of Jesus. Spirit of demotion, hallelujah. I paralyze you, I delete you, I I erase you by the blood of Jesus. Amen. Father God, we bless you. Let the power of the on my behalf and let it speak 
against every dead bone in my life, every sickness or disease upon my life, upon my friend's life. Let the blood of Jesus begin to speak over that body in the name of Jesus. Let the power of the blood of Jesus be released on my behalf and let it speak against every stubborn mountain in my life. Let the blood in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus in my house in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus in my business in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood of Jesus over my children in the name of Jesus. I apply the blood over my marriage in the name of Jesus. I soak my blood. I soak my life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. My DNA is soaked in the blood of Jesus. My DNA is wiped off from every generational transfer by the blood of Jesus. Yes, my DNA has no formation of my ancestry, my God. My DNA does not acknowledge my culture, does not acknowledge my tradition, does not acknowledge every wickedness in the high places that has been programmed against my family. Yes, Lord. I, in the name of Jesus, I, by the blood of Jesus, demons, you cannot enter my house. Demons, you cannot Demons, you cannot enter my business. Demons, you cannot enter my life. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood in the name of Jesus. I draw a circle of blood upon you that is watching. I draw a circle of blood around you who is watching this video. I draw a circle of blood. A circle of blood. The blood of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. A blood, the blood of Jesus. Discouragement got to go. Discouragement got to flee. Discouragement got to flee. In the name of Jesus, I surround you with the blood of Jesus. I draw a bloodline of protection around my property. I draw the bloodline of protection around my property. I overcome you, Satan, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of my testimony. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You cannot put sickness on me because I am redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Say that it loud and clear. I, you cannot put sickness on me. Cancer got to flee in the name of Jesus. Diabetes got to fall off in the name of Jesus. Yes, coronavirus got to flee in the name of Jesus. For I, uh, you cannot put any sickness on me, devil, because I am redeemed by the blood of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus speak confusion in the camp of the enemy. The blood of Jesus speak confusion in the camp of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus speak destruction unto every evil growth in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus speak disappearance unto every infirmity. In the name of Jesus, let the blood of Jesus chase away poverty out of my life. Poverty is not my portion. Poverty and the wrong mentality is not my portion. Yes, Lord, I begin to think like a king. I begin to operate as a priest. I begin to walk like a chosen generation. In the mighty name of Jesus, for I am a king and a priest and a royal priesthood. Hallelujah. I am a chosen generation in the Lord. Hallelujah. Let the blood of Jesus speak disappearance unto every infirmity. Let the blood of Jesus speak peace unto every area of my family. In the name of Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. The enemy watch Watch, look the blood of Jesus. Devil, look the blood of Jesus. Look the blood of Jesus. The one who shed the blood, crush you, Satan. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus is my provision. I use the blood of Jesus. my property. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus over this channel I'm using. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus over this equipment. I sprinkle the blood of Jesus over this time. Rebo Sikate. Let the blood of Jesus dry up every evil tree used against me in the name of Jesus. Lay you evil power. I bring them bear the power of the blood of Jesus. Bind you, bind you. I render every power militating against me impotent by the blood of Jesus. I hold the blood against you and declare that you have been defeated. Debt, scarcity, hear the word of the Lord. I declare you have been defeated. For the word of the Lord says that in times of, in times of disaster, 
I shall have plenty in days of famine. I shall have I shall have plenty in times of disaster. I will not wither in days of famine. I will have plenty. Yes, so hear the word of the Lord. You evil power resisting my breakthrough. You evil power. Uh, promotion. I come against you now in the name of Jesus. I hold the blood against you and declare that you have been defeated. Let the blood of Jesus minister defeat upon every evil work in my life. In the name of Jesus. I send the blood of Jesus to wipe off every evil record that the enemy is holding against my life. In the name of Jesus. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Yes, we announce it. The soul Persecuted Christians has now transformed to Paul in the name of Jesus. And every power that is trying out there to confess and declare that look, aha, aha, there goes that man that was walking in sin. Right now, in the name of Jesus, we send the blood to bring down everything that is evil, that is working against our life in the name of Jesus. I minister death. To the enemy of progress. I minister death unto the enemy of progress in my life. Death and separation are totally being snatched from that tent of my life. In the name of Jesus. Like a tick is removed from the hand. So that we are removing the enemy of progress out of our life. In the name of Jesus. I bind the staying power of any problem by the blood of Jesus. I create a boundary. I create a boundary against you devil by the blood of Jesus. Jesus, you cannot come near me. For the word of the Lord says that the Lord has made a has created in me. The Lord has given me pleasant places. That the boundary lines are fallen for me in pleasant places. Yes, Lord. The Lord's favor is upon my life. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a delightful inheritance. So, Lord, by these boundary lines, in the mighty name of Jesus, I command you, devil, stay in your boundary. 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 <laughs> The boundary lines are falling for me in pleasant places. I have a delightful inheritance. Devil, stay in your boundary. Stay in your boundary. Stay in your boundary. In the name of Jesus, I create a boundary against you, devil, by the blood of Jesus. I hold the blood of Jesus against every evil spirit working against me. I hold the blood of Jesus against you, spirit of demotion. I hold the blood of Jesus against you, the spirit of... Uh, Spirit of delay, spirit of delay, I hold against you, I hold the blood of Jesus against you, sicknesses in my neighborhood, sicknesses in my city, sicknesses in my nation. Father God, coronavirus, we resist it, it in its form of a sickness shall not come near us. And as the children of God, as God is moving, as God is moving from city to city, town to town, as we return back to the Lord, we return back to the Lord, we return back to the Lord, we come back to the Lord to clean our garment and enable us to walk into righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I enter into the Holy of Holies by the cleansing of the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hold the blood of Jesus against de demonic de delay uh, in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. You have been trusting God for marriage for a long time. But the devil and his schemes has already been bringing out delay. And because of that delay, you have even fallen into sexual immorality. I come to declare the word of God that the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. The Lord is going to make it right in your family. Family. The Lord is going to make it right in that marriage. The Lord is going to snatch the foundation that the enemy is losing to harass your marriage because of the wrong foundation. We send the blood of Jesus on your foundation and begin to pray and hold the blood of Jesus against demonic delay of your miracle. In the name of Jesus, I hold the blood of Jesus against failure at the edge of success. I hold the blood of Jesus against lack of good helpers. I begin to receive good helpers because 
because the blood of Jesus is standing against every power that has been pushing away divine help us from my life I decree and declare this morning that Lord I hold the blood of Jesus against fruitless efforts in my life I hold the blood of Jesus against the lack of good helpers I hold the blood of Jesus against occupying wrong position in the name of Jesus I hold the blood of Jesus against every delay and denied promotion in the name of Jesus I hold the blood of Jesus against dead accounts yes father all the accounts that you have given unto us they shall not be dead but they shall be active yes father I hold the blood of Jesus against dead accounts I hold the blood of Jesus against evil diversion I hold the blood of Jesus against lost foreign foreign benefits for the word of the Lord says in Isaiah my God, hallelujah, as it says in chapter 11, Lord, according to your word, so shall it be in the book of Isaiah, chapter, uh, chapter 11, oh my, chapter 60, verse 11, oh my God, and even as I speak and pronounce it, my Father, I know that you are here, your power is here, your victory is here, your angels have been assisting us, they have been raising prayer to you, and they have been descending prayer to us, Lord, like the, the widow that was in Luke 18, we persist and show up every day, because we know that God, sometimes we may pray and not even have understanding of how we pray but God when you come according to our according to your power according to your purposes my father so shall it be king of glory your word declares uh, your word declares uh, in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 my father and that we declare and speak it my father arise for your light has come and the glory of God has risen upon you Lord God we declare this word this morning this night this afternoon in all over the nations arise shine for your light has come and the glory of God rises upon you see darkness covers the earth and thick darkness is over the people but the Lord rises upon you the Lord rises upon you the Lord rises upon you and his glory appears over you nations will come to your light and kings to the brightness of your dawn in the mighty name of Jesus we declare foreigners will rebuild your walls and their kings will serve you though in anger I struck you I will show you compassion yes your gates will always stand open they will never be shut day or night uh, so that men may bring you the wealth of the nations their kings led in triumphal procession from the nation or the kingdom that will not serve you will perish it will be utterly ruined father we claim the word in verse 11 that indeed uh, our gates will always remain open this morning father God so I hold the blood of Jesus against lost foreign benefits I hold the blood of Jesus against satanic prophecies that have been prophesied over me over, over my friend's life every satanic prophecy I hold the blood of Jesus against you in the name of Jesus I hold the blood of Jesus against uh, prophet starvation in the name of Jesus the rebel Zikayaba there are some voices that the enemy introduces even sometimes into our businesses that even the lady that is selling potato tomatoes five to for tomatoes that are going for 20 shillings that an evil spirit comes that causes even the rich man to come to that lady selling five potato uh, tomatoes and bargain. Can you imagine this poor old lady woke up at 4 a.m. in the morning to go to the market to go and get these five tomatoes at a cost of, let's say, 10 shillings or 12 shillings so that they can sell shillings. The cost of going to that place the cost of coming back, the cost of sitting down and spreading it on the roadside comes to about 20 shillings. In actual, selling there, she does not even in any way get any profit. But then there's another spirit that comes into that business and causes everybody that stands there, even the rich people, to stand there and to say, Ah, Bana, why are you selling 20 shillings? Sell for me at 5 shillings. We want to pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ against profit starvation that the powers of that uh, why should I be paying you so much money those kind of spirits are there the enemy always trying to put this favor the Lord's favor is upon you you will look at the Lord's doing in your life whatever you are doing some of you are starting online businesses it's, you've never gone this way before 
You've never gone this way before. God has put in you an idea that you're going to use it now that you're on lockdown and that idea must prosper because it's the Lord who has given it to you. So pray with understanding. I hold the blood of Jesus against profit starvation in the name of Jesus. I decree it right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, pray for also for yourself against greed that the spirit of the Lord will protect your heart from greediness. Because greed is the, of the enemy. The love of, the, um, of money is of the enemy. The enemy will try and bring and introduce the love of money into your life, which is the root of all evil. Listen, people that you see prosperous sometimes in the physical world have done some serious sacrifices in the physical, in the spiritual realm. Some have given the minds of their loved ones to the enemy. They have turned their children into cabbages. They have turned their loved ones into crazy people so that the enemy can advance their wealth. Some have gone to the extent of killing their loved ones. Because why? The love of money is the root of all evil. Devil knows that. So he comes and says to you, if at all you want to be rich, you want to be famous, you must sacrifice one of your dancers. One of the dancer you like the most inside your dance group for musicians. Sacrifice this one. Your manager, the one who manages you very well, sacrifice that one. You yourself, let me tell you, if you are here watching this video, and I know this video is in the nations, you can watch it from anywhere. Even you could be somewhere in Nicaragua and the Lord speaks to you using this video. I do not know. But whatever the Lord uses this video to go and speak to you, I come to mention in the mighty name of Jesus that Satan has no free gift. If at all he comes and wishes you and tells you, ah, in exchange, in exchange for for fame, in exchange for popularity, in exchange for a million likes on your video, just one day. This is what you must do. You must come and offer this sacrifice to me. You must come and commit this lewd act before me. And that way, you mission. Hallelujah. So as we call on the Lord, as we conclude in this time, I want us to plead the blood of Jesus and plead it particularly with understanding against the prophet starvation. You who is a trader, you who is doing the business, do not have love of money in your heart. The moment you allow the love of money, it is the root of evil. What is money? Money is good. The Lord Jesus spoke about money for over, actually more times than anything else. Money answers all things. And that's why we need money for ministry. That's why we need it to be able to have electricity, to have equipment, to have this. To also have internet and bundles to be able to speak the word of God in the nations. But as you pray this prayer against prophet starvation, you need to understand the love of money should be far from your heart in the mighty name of Jesus. So let us pray that prayer again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. I hold the blood of Jesus against dead accounts. I hold the blood of Jesus against evil diversion. I hold the blood of Jesus against lost foreign benefits. I hold the blood of Jesus against satanic prophecies. I hold the blood of Jesus against vagabond and anointing. Vagabond anointing is not my portion. Vagabond anointing is not my portion. In the name of Jesus, I hold the blood of Jesus against the tortoise and snail anointing. In the name of Jesus, I hold the blood of Jesus against tortoise and snail anointing. In the name of Jesus, yes, moving a slow pace, it shall not be my portion. Father, this day I decree and declare your power. I decree your majesty. I decree your favor. I thank you for your provision. I thank you for your love. I thank you for answers to prayer that you manifest in my life. So this day, I command that every planting of the enemy that was standing against us will not prevail. And Lord, as we have read Psalm 53, and as we have recited in the nations, we decree, my Father God, that according to this word, so shall it be filled. All the salvation... For Israel will come out of Zion. When God restores his people, let Jacob rejoice. Let Israel be glad. Father, we praise you for this word. Father, Lord, we honor you. We proclaim it. We proclaim this word, Psalm 53, that the fool says in his heart, there is no God, they are corrupt, their ways are vile, there are no one who does good. God looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there is any who understand, any who seek God. Father, as you look down from heaven, may you find us there seeking you. May you find us there singing worship to the Lord. May you find us there 
calling on the name of the Lord. May you find us there, hallelujah, worshiping you, honoring you, declaring you are a worthy God, declaring you are a faithful God, declaring that you are able to answer prayer, declaring that you are in our lives, declaring that you are faithful, declaring that there is no weapon fashioned against us that shall prosper, declaring that God is by your power that you have established us. It is by your power that you've anointed us. It's by your power that you've been with us in the mighty name of Jesus. So this morning, this night, this afternoon, I bless you this afternoon for you, my sister in Korea. I bless you, my sister Jeanette, there in Philippines. The Lord bless you. I bless you, my brother Sammy Kennedy. The Lord bless you and give you a flight back home as you have been desiring. Thank you, Lord, uh, for Brian. I bless the Lord for Zach Juguna. I bless the Lord for Chia Charity. I bless the Lord for Caroline Kusimba. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord for you, Julia. We thank God even for the people that are watching in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Glory be to the Lamb. Glory be to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords and the conquering Lion of the tribe of Judah who was and is and who is to come in the mighty name of Jesus. We give him glory. We give him all the adoration for he is a great God. He's a mighty God. He's forever upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're there and you'd like to communicate with me directly, my WhatsApp number is plus two five four. 722-819105 It's still the cash app number If you want to be a blessing to me monetarily You can use that same number In the mighty name of Jesus I bless the Lord for you And I wish you a wonderful day Appropriate, appropriate the blood of Jesus In the mighty name of Jesus Let the shalom of God be your portion Let the shalom Let the shalom of God Let the shalom of God Let the shalom of God the mighty shalom of God, the precious shalom of God be upon you and your family now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty and precious name do we pray. Amen. 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 Amen.